Marin Mersenne was a French scholar with many interests, including theology, philosophy, music theory, mathematics, and the natural sciences. His skill of connecting people with ideas brought him to a place of prominence in the scientific community during the first half of the 17th century. Marin was an eager student. His family, though not well off, did what they could to ensure he received an education. When he completed his studies in 1611, Mersenne joined the Order of Minims and was ordained as a priest soon after. Mersenne taught philosophy for a few years before he accepted a post in Paris, where he made his home for the rest of his life. Early in his career, Mersenne published religious works combating atheists, skeptics, and practitioners of witchcraft. His most famous written work was Harmonie Universelle, in which he detailed the sum of musical knowledge of his time. Mersenne used his knowledge of copyrights and the publishing industry later in life to help other scholars publish works in France. In mathematics, Marin is perhaps best known for the primes which bear his name. While searching for a formula to generate primes, he discovered Mersenne primes, which are primes of the form 2 to the p minus 1, where p is a prime number. Mersenne made a claim about which of the prime numbers less than 257 generate primes and which generate composite numbers. Five numbers in his published claim have been shown to be incorrect, but some attribute the error to the publisher. Mersenne primes find their way into modern computer science as well, where the standard libraries of many common programming languages include a pseudo-random number generator based upon an algorithm called the Mersenne twister so named because the period of the generator is a Mersenne prime. Mersenne's life in Paris allowed him to connect with the leading French thinkers of his time. Publishing his written works gave him access to and a knowledge of the publishing industry in France. These th two things led to what is perhaps Mersenne's greatest achievement, and what we would call today networking. Marin used his acquaintance with French scholars like his good friend Descartes and Pascal to establish relationships with scholars across Europe, including Galileo in Italy and Huygens in the Netherlands. Then he used his connections in the publishing industry to induce foreign scholars to publish their works in France. In his correspondence, he would share ideas from one scholar with another scholar, asking for their thoughts and for clarification. In this way, Mersenne induced the spread of many ideas throughout the learned communities of Europe. At his death, his room was found to contain letters from 78 different individuals. Marin Mersenne was interested in many subjects. This thirst for knowledge caused him to seek acquaintance with many learned men and spread ideas between them, and in this way he did much to advance science and mathematics in his day.